Yeah, that's that's a nice collection. Seven, eight, sixteen, and seventeen. Well, um, yeah, I guess the next one you should try is this one. This game is pretty. Again, it's pretty forgiving when it comes to resources. You don't really have to focus that much on dodging as much as you have to focus on bombing. Sometimes telling your finger to bomb is harder than <laughs> dodging some sorry ass pattern. So, yeah. Well, the good thing is that this game teach. Well, it's not like it teaches you, but it basically it's a good way to practice a dead bomb, since you will have so much and you will use it so much that it really is perfect for practicing that. Yeah, bomb the shit out of this game. You're sleeping, and you're typing while you're sleeping, alright, that's a weird thing to do, but sure. I really, I'm not sure now. I feel like with Rainway I have a realistic chance of one coin clearing this on Luna TV with Marisa. I, I mean, she has amazing damage. But that's pretty much all she has. She has amazing damage and that's it. The range is good because you can extend it, but a lot of times like you have to know how to use her pretty well if you want to do that. Um, so yeah, Marisa, I mean, basically Marisa B in this game is what Marisa A should have been, but you know, they keep traditionally that Marisa B has been the laser, while Marisa A has been the, you know, the star shot. The problem is that this one is too, it's not that orthodox compared to... To the laser one. The problem is that the laser one is completely broken, so using it is, you know. Typing while slipping is something that I can realistically do. I can't because I don't have a cell phone. <laughs> so, yeah, wouldn't be possible to me. Well, I can't fall asleep in my chair either. Not yet. Maybe when I grow older I will do that, but so far I can't fall asleep in my chair, so... You can sleep in front of the computer. I definitely can. Well, then again, I, di I don't really try it. Mostly because, you know, I have to wake up early the next day, so I never try to do something crazy, like, like staying up really late, I don't do that anymore, I used to do that, but, yeah, nowadays, I can't. And even if I cool, I don't know if I will be okay with being sleepy for a long time. I'm one of those people that think that sleep is extremely important, so I wouldn't want to feel sleepy. Unless you hug your way into sleeping. <clears throat> well, it's not too hard to sleep when you are sleeping, honestly. I mean, it's pretty easy in fact, but I try not to be sleepy. I try not to be sleepy because it sucks. Being sleepy it really sucks. And a lot of times... 
I'm a little bit sleepy before streaming, but just a little bit. But even when it's only a little bit, it's still pretty noticeable. It's pretty noticeable. Obviously, not sleeping enough to fall asleep on a stream. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Falling asleep on a stream? Yeah, I know that there's people that have done it, but... I don't think I will be able to do that. Unless I do something crazy like an incredibly long stream that, by the way, it's not gonna happen. I mean, I barely can stream for 4 hours straight. I don't think I can do much more than that. Talking about hacks. There is a pretty good uh, hack for sleeping, but it involved drugs, so I don't think it really counts. I always try to sleep 8 hours though, that's my objective every night, to sleep at least 8 hours. And if I wasn't able to sleep 8 hours, then my objective for the next night is to sleep more than 8 hours. Or, you know, uh, take a nap before the... like in the middle of the day, right? That's my plan. I usually always try to keep the, <laughs> the quote-unquote balance of my sleeping in 8 hours. If it's less than that, I, I just can't. It's too hard to, to not feel incredibly sleepy. But you know... Just like you, there is a lot of people that underestimate sleeping. Because one thing is not being able to sleep because there is an annoying noise that you cannot control and it doesn't allow you to sleep. Or, you know, something irregular happens. But a lot of people don't sleep by choice and that's, that's gonna fuck them up a lot. Not now, they are still young. But when they grow older, that shit's not gonna be fine for you. I mean, the same can be said about my body and the fact that I don't exercise, and you will be right, but... There are two different kinds of problems. Both of them are probably just as important. But yeah. I'm assuming that when I grow older, I'm probably gonna barely be able to move my <laughs> my my legs. But the important thing is that my brain is intact. Because as long as your brain properly functions when you are old, you know, you can deal with a lot of stuff that otherwise will be a fucking pain in the ass. If you didn't. I mean, after all, our brains are the most important part of our body, so we gotta make sure we... Uh, we gotta make sure we take care of them. Sleeping is a good way to do that. Not drinking alcohol is another good way of doing that. But you know, everyone has different views on this. Obviously. Uh, and also it doesn't mean that just for dropping a little glass of wine once in a while you're gonna fuck up your brain. Uh, but you know, uh, a lot of people really... <laughs> I mean, I saw a streamer that he fucking chugged so many... Uh, you know, cans of beer daily that I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. 
This guy is not gonna reach the 70 years. And I mean, that's fine. It doesn't have to be an, an objective of yours to do that. A lot of people think that, you know, uh, having a long life doesn't equal having a good life, and that's true. But I feel like by having a longer life, your chances of having a better life might be higher. Obviously that depends on your situation, but for the most part I feel that that holds true. It's pretty funny to dead bomb uh, intentionally, because a lot of times I dead bomb unintentionally, but those two were intentional. Being able to do that feels really good. Like dead bomb intentionally. Because it's a pretty straight timing, but you, you can nail you can nail it if you practice. I think caring about brain is a priority, but you know. Again, there is a lot of different views on the subject and a lot of people prefer to have an amazing time now when they are in their prime and have a not so amazing time afterwards when they are not in their prime and that's a, I mean that's a good a good view I don't feel like there is anything wrong with that but you know I feel like it's a pretty high bet but then again if you're in your prime, I guess you should enjoy it. Huh, it, it really depends. Obviously, when you think about it in only one dimension, right? You are like, wow, if you smoke, you drink, and all of that, you do all of that, you're gonna have a worse life than someone that doesn't do that. Yes, if you only look at it like that, and not what that comes with, then yes, you will always say that it's better to not do that. But usually those things come with some pretty memorable moments that are gonna be there with you all life, right? It's not really about the, the alcohol itself, it's about uh, what comes with it that people like. I mean, well, yes, there are some people that, that do like uh, alcoholic beverage by itself, but for most people it's about the moments that they, that they live while they are drunk rather than the drink itself. When you look at it that way, it's not that bad of an idea. It's obviously a different point of view than mine, but you know, it's acceptable. I mean, <laughs> not only it's acceptable, it's pretty much the most popular point of view. So yeah, makes sense. Wow, really? That fucking sucked. I should have bombed, but I didn't thought I was gonna get hit at the end. Oops. Too bad. I think the prime example is... Stoners, right? You know, actual stoners, and I don't mean people in chat that call themselves stoners but they have never seen a joint in their lives. No, I mean actual stoners. Um, you know, they do follow that line of thinking that what matters is the moment, the, the present, right? 
And that's completely fine. Of course I'm gonna bomb your sorry ass known spell Sanai, what do you expect? You expect me to just sit tight and look as you fuck me up with that bullshit? Fuck you. This section of the stage I always think is way harder, but it's incredibly easy compared to all of the other bullshit, I mean. Uh, Cole gives you amazing memory. No, it doesn't really give you amazing memory. <laughs> Alcohol is supposed to basically... Um, destroy a lot of the mental barriers oh amazing memories okay that that, that that's different <laughs> that's different yeah because alcohol giving you amazing memory is kind of like the opposite you know but yeah I mean it really depends like it really depends on where you do it and especially with who. As long as you have a good good company. It's gonna be amazing. The issue is that a lot of people that do that are not into a good company. <laughs> and well, they do what they can. You know, if you're in good company, you know, I mean, a couple of drinks is it's probably gonna be a blast. But obviously, that's the hard part: being in good company. Hey Thunder, how is it going? Doing some moth. <laughs> you know, I feel like I should start pronouncing the Toho acronyms the way they are written. Instead of uh, pronouncing the letters individually, I feel like I should pronounce them as a word. So here I am playing moth. Moth is a pretty nice token game. You perfect fits an eye. Damn. Congratulations. Okay. Auto collect. Oh, this part. You actually have to remember what to do. Well. Don't need to remember what to do if I bomb the shit out of it. Actually, no, you don't even need to remember what to do here. Because when you bomb, you get a shit ton of power. So it's not really that necessary to know what to do. If you bomb, you get a lot of your power back. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I'm not gonna... This fairy gives you full power most of the times. Yeah, most of the times. Um, I had a friend that fell into smoking with alcohol, kept asking me to try it out. Huh. Well, yeah, uh, 
people being annoying is never fun, but you know, really depends. If you have people that respect your choices, it's not bad, as long as they don't do any stupid shit. What are your thoughts on the boss? Sanae? Um, I feel like she's a cheap piece of shit. But you know, what can I say? That's probably what most people think too. Shit, I should have. You know, if I'm gonna bomb your ass. God damn it. I thought I could do it, but probably not. <laughs> and with Marissa, something like this that moves around too much is a problem. Well, with this Marisa, actually, well, with every Marisa except for C, then again, uh, C is probably also a problem. Oh, and this is obviously gonna get bombed, that's for sure. The Yamato Torus. The Torus? Wait, I got another red stand? I think I I actually got another it's 10, is that true? Hey alright. Oh because probably 16 million, is that the other it's 10? Man. I don't know who I got there. 16 million? I like that. Well, this is probably gonna go to timeout, so I hope you like seeing one minute of this non-spell. I mean, I like this non-spell after all. This is kind of supposed to be an equivalent to Remilia's non-spell where she has three faces and she turns into a vampire in between. It's supposed to be the equivalent of that and it's pretty nice. Sadly... I can't really do that much damage as much as I would like to. Oh, come on, Kanako. Gotcha. You know, I don't want to risk this. But at the same time... I don't have another bomb, so I have to risk here. Well, risk. There is nothing that is being risked <laughs> if I don't have any fucking resources, but I'm gonna bomb your ass here. Uh, mm, I don't know about this. Well, I have one more life, so 
you know. There we go. Well, Jesus, that was pretty fast. <laughs> I didn't expect to get the one going clear that fast. I guess there it is. She, she, thanks, thanks. Oh, yes, the ending. Oops, no, you won't be seeing that. <laughs> oh, that's fine, you didn't see that. That wasn't a mountain. That was just your illusion. It is the first Marisa shot type, so apparently this shot type should have a lot of information in the ending. And it's not really doing much on that regard, honestly. Well, I guess the game expects you to do... To do... Um, Raymu first, obviously. All right, good shit. Yeah, that was that was fast. I mean, it was. There we go. Uh, she she thinks things. Um, I come in and you beat it instantly. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I really didn't expect to do it that fast. I, I gotta, I gotta say. In fact, I expected this to take me the whole stream. So I'm kind of lost now. What do I do? <laughs> well, I could try the extra no bomb, but I don't. That shouldn't take long either. Uh, damn. You know. By seeing this and the fact that I can probably beat Lunatic so fast, maybe I should really start trying hard no bombs. I mean, other than the ones that I already have, but it's so hard, especially in a game like this. A hard no bomb, it's incredibly hard. Like, it really is hard to do, but you know. I mean,. After all, this is a game where bombs are more than encouraged. Um, a lot of first tries, huh? Um, no, I don't really want to do cave games or Lenin games, but... I mean, right now I want to do the, the no bomb. But, uh, yeah, other than that. Oh, but I don't have... I, I have to back up. I have to back all of this up. That's for sure. Damn. That that one right there at the top is my first uh, normal one going clear ever. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna back this up. Uh, yeah. Lunati one going clear. Marisa, she, she's... 